This photo shows a pregnant J-41 hunting a fish alongside her young son, J-51. It was taken by a drone, the same technology used to diagnose at least two other pregnant southern resident killer whales, as well as a sick male, K-25. And these photos show his decline in body weight. Photogrammetry gives us the opportunity to provide real-time data for conservation measures. And providing real-time data is important because historically you have to go back and analyze things in the lab or over months before you even get any sort of data from it. This is instant. We can report within a matter of hours or within a week. Casey McLean's organization, SR3, partners with NOAA on the research. The photos alerted authorities to the plight of J-50, the young and sickly whale who recently died after a historic and controversial effort to try to save her life. New photos of pregnant whales come with hope, but also hesitation, as nearly three-quarters of the southern resident orca pregnancies end in miscarriage. You know, we get really excited knowing that this is still happening. These whales are still trying to reproduce. That's a hope for the future of their population. But we also are a little bit leery because we know often these whales don't survive past their first year. One of the great benefits of SR3's research is that we'll be able to continue to monitor these pregnancies throughout their term, watching the mother's health, also looking for any signs of potential miscarriages. The drone photos, also called photogrammetry, have accelerated knowledge about the orcas, giving scientists a new perspective. Before the drone technology, Photos were mostly taken from boats, only detailing a side profile. K-25's weight loss is the latest concern for researchers, but they've seen a decline in several others as well. It's bad timing, heading into the winter when the whales need fat stores. In Seattle, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.